Norwegian fjords are spectacular tourist attractions. But long before any tourists showed up, the abundant seafood, seaweed, and other marine resources of the fjords attracted Norway's first settlers. And all these marine life forms depend on nutrition from microscopic phytoplankton. They're also called algae. Just like plants on land, the algae need sunlight to grow, so they thrive near the surface. The algae also need nutrients to survive. Sunlight and nutrients, they are what the algae need. In the winter, the water is rich with nutrients, but the sunlight is too weak to promote algae growth. Then, the spring comes. More sunlight boosts the growth of the algae, the snow melts in the lowlands, and the freshwater runoff supplies the fjord with nutrients. Fresh water is less dense than salt water. A mix of the two, brackish water, is also lighter and forms a top layer in the fjord. In this brackish layer, the sunlight triggers an intense spring bloom of algae. The growth explodes until the nutrients are consumed. The brackish water still floats on the surface of the fjord. The nutrients are trapped in deep water. But the sun also melts the snow in the mountains. The spring flood sends large amounts of fresh water into the fjords, loaded with more nutrients. The algae growth continues. Then comes summer. The flow from waterfalls and rivers dwindles, along with the nutrient supply to the fjord. The algae in the upper layers will eventually begin to starve. Hydroelectric plants store summer flows in dams, retaining it for power production in the winter. Instead of cascading freely as waterfalls, water is run in pipes to generators. Less fresh water further reduces the amount of nutrients flowing into the fjord, but it also makes the water clearer. This allows the sunlight to penetrate deeper, down to where the water is richer in nutrients, so algae also move deeper. This means less nourishment for shells, seaweed and fish near the surface. That's a problem for shell farmers, but there is a solution. Since 2004, the Institute of Marine Research and the local company Lisa Fjorden Research Station have conducted experiments in the Lisa Fjord, which is located in the southwestern part of Norway. The outlet from the hydroelectric power plant in Lisabotten is collected in a funnel. Gravity and momentum forces the water from the power plant down through a pipe and beneath the surface of the fjord. Water from the outlet is released at a depth of 34 meters. The fresh water is lighter than the surrounding salt water. It will ascend while mixing, dragging nutrient-rich deep water up towards more sunlight, just when the phytoplankton need it the most. This upwelling facility can triple the production of algae as food for shells and other marine animals feeding on it in the fjord. In this way, people can harvest more food from the fjords that have nourished us for thousands of years.